Hello, today we're going to do a short video of replacing the carburetor on a steel 021, 023, 025, same as a MS210, MS230, and MS250. My name is Lee Smith, and I'll be showing you how to replace the carburetor on these steel chainsaw models. First, you want to remove the air filter cover, remove the air filter. Remove the two screws that hold the air filter adapter onto the chainsaw. After the two screws have been re removed, remove the air filter adapter. With a pair of needle nose, you can grab the fuel line and remove the fuel line. At the same time, you can squeeze the trigger and get a pair of needle nose and lift up on the throttle bar. It just snaps into place. After <clears throat> this is done, you can remove the throttle wire. You should get a screwdriver and gently pry on the carburetor here to remove it. You gotta be careful about the choke here that you don't damage it. Slides right out like this. With the new carburetor, install the choke rod. Install it into the choke lever, install the carburetor. Before sliding the carburetor on, install the rubber piece here. Slide the new carburetor into place. Taking the throttle rod, hook it back into place on the throttle shaft. Pull the trigger assembly and snap the throttle rod back into place. As you can see, the throttle rod's fastened securely into the trigger. Taking a pair of needle nose, reinstall the fuel line onto the carburetor, fuel inlet. Reinstall the air filter adapter. The two screws that holds it on, tighten them down securely. Reinstall the air filter assembly. Reinstall the air filter cover housing. And your chainsaw has been successfully replaced the car carburetor on. If you need any parts, make sure you check out www.littleredbarn.net. Go to the saw manufacturer, this will be steel, the model number will be 023, and the category will be carburetor. I want to thank you very much for watching this short video today.